Hey guys, so I've been asked by a lot of people to discuss um, different different things in the fitness industry and in the fitness world um, and, and share my knowledge and my professional viewpoints on certain things. And as far as for the YouTube channel, this is kind of hard for me because usually I do this for my clients and I know, you know, I know how to address them and they, they understand, you know, where I'm coming from as far as the terminology that I use. So um, bear with me, you know, as I start these videos for, for you guys, just for the general public and, and um, all of my followers who are interested in hearing what I have to say, that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make this as generic as possible, uh, use terminology that everybody's gonna understand and obviously try to make it um, a, a very base, uh, level knowledge because I don't know you specifically. I don't know what your goals are. I don't know what your needs are. So when I'm saying these things, uh, please take that into consideration. So if you have a trainer or a coach, um, you know, obviously check with them before you, you know, use anything that I say or take that into consideration in your own programs. But what I wanted to talk about today was um, that somebody had, had asked about is uh, cardio. Cardio in general, when it comes to fat loss. Um, and so uh, let me just start by stating anybody who is doing cardiovascular exercise strictly for the, the purpose of doing it, whether it's for cardiovascular health or just for the enjoyment of doing it, that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about somebody who is trying to use cardio to increase loss of body fat or quicken the results of loss of body fat. So um, here's my issues with, with cardio. So if a, a few things right off the bat, if, um, if you add in too much cardio too soon and you are following a very strict diet program, you could put yourself in too much of a depletion. So what that could cause actually is loss of muscle tissue, which is going to lower your metabolism in general, and that's going to inhibit fat loss because obviously we know the more muscle you have, the higher your metabolic rate is just in your general day. So you don't wanna do something that's going to cause you to lose muscle at any point. Um, another big problem that I find is people try to use cardio to outweigh a bad diet, whether it's running, biking, whatever it is, you, you try to up your cardio and cheat more on your diet because you think you can get away with it. Um, unless you're a marathon runner and you're out there running like 80 plus miles a week, that is not gonna work for you. Um, you might be able to maintain that way um, and get away with, with that for a little bit, but if you're not gonna reach your goals, um, especially if, if fat loss is your main goal and you, you want to you know, have definition, see a six pack, you know, whatever your goals are, um, you cannot outwork a poor diet. Um, and that's something that I find that people do really, really often when it comes to trying to add in too much cardio. Um, the other thing that cardio and kind of goes along with that can increase hunger. So if you struggle with your diet in general and you're somebody who has, has a hard time following your meal plan and you start adding in too much cardio too quickly and you don't really have a handle on the meal plan, you're just gonna make yourself hungrier and more miserable and probably end up cheating more than you would if you didn't do the extra cardio. So. Take that into consideration when you're starting to add cardio into your programs. Um, you know, check with your coach. Uh, if you have questions about that, reach out to me on social media. You know, if you if you're somebody who would like to you know work with me or or you um, have questions about that in general. But obviously, like I said, it depends on the individual. But just some general information about cardio that can maybe help you. Um, you know, whether or not you should or should not add that into your program. And like anything, start out slow. You don't have to go from no cardio to an hour of cardio a day. Maybe just start out with 20 or 30 minutes a couple times a week and, and see where it goes from there.